Well, hello there, Internet. I'm CST from the Guild of Awesome, and today I'm here to show you how to get every achievement in Dead Rising 2 KC Row. So really, we're only going to do one playthrough where we're going to get all but two achievements. At a certain point, at the start of the game, we'll make a save, and then we'll load the save later on to get the last two achievements. So there's not much to say before we get started, so let's get straight to it. In the first area, you can combine a box of nails and a baseball bat to make the spiked bat. Also combine a box of nails with a propane tank to make the IED and combine a power drill with a bucket to make the drill bucket. Be sure to head up onto the roof to grab the spray paint, which we'll need to make the air hole later on. Outside, pick up the whiskey for a Molotov that we'll make later. At the building across from the garage, you can find a paddle for the paddle saw. Head down to the maintenance room and pick up the newspaper on the way there. Combine the newspaper with whiskey to make the Molotov. Nice. In the store right next to the maintenance room you can find a chainsaw. Combine that with the paddle to make the paddle saw. After the cutscene at the military camp, pick up a pylon and combine it with the spray paint to make the air horn.
Now head into the police station and grab a shotgun for the boomstick. You also need to open the front door for the locksmith achievement. Now we are going to climb into Bob's fish and hunt store, while climbing into the store pick up a construction hat while on the roof, and then drop down into the store. Grab a broadsword for later, and open the door for the locksmith achievement. Pick up a beer from the bowling alley and combine it with the construction hat to make the beer hat. Interact with the ambulance and the military camp and create a separate save here. This is the save that will load up later on in order to get the last two achievements. Okay, so now you're going to need to clear the zombies around Dick and pick up the rake nearby. Then it's going to his pawn shop. Thank <laughs> you. 
Purchase a hint by talking to Dick to get the clueless no more achievement. If you need money, head to the mini casino across the street and smash the machines to get some money. You can find a battery in one of the back alleys. Combine this with a rake to make the electric rake. Just like mom used to make. Head into the store next to the maintenance room and grab a pitchfork. Then combine this with the shotgun to make the boomstick. Now let's meet with Bob who's on the roof. He won't join us right now, in fact he'll be one of the last survivors that we actually save. Until then he'll give us info on other survivors. Climb into the abandoned building and pick up the shed key. Unlock the shed for the locksmith achievement and pick up the bike fork.
leave it near the garage entrance, but we won't be going in just yet. First, we're going to save two survivors. Before these two survivors join us, we're going to need to give them a few beers first. Take the survivors back and make sure to pick up the bike part and combine it with the bike to get the part way their achievement. Hello. Stay over there. Get it off. Uh, uh. Hold up, Honky. What's with the big hurry? <laughs> you all right, you know that? The next bike part is just outside the gasoline pumps and it's actually a can of gas that we need. Cool. Next up, we'll head to the theatre to unlock the last door for the locksmith achievement. One of the alleys you can find the engine for the bike. In order to get the wheel, we'll need to buy it from the pawn shop. Ooh. 
Right on. Now we have some time to literally kill, so it's a good time to get the Zombie Hunter achievement. At 1pm our next survivors will spawn. Head on over to the bowling alley and speak with the ladies there. They won't join you unless you find a friend at the military camp. Sharon needs Zombrex before she will join you. Once you give her a dose, carry her back to her friends. Once they are reunited, they will join you. At this point we have some more spare time. We will need another dose of Zombrex for Katie. I recommend getting some more money from the mini casino and then buying some more Zombrex from the pawn shop. Cool. At 3pm some more survivors will spawn. Pick up a broadsword on your way to them if you didn't before. Right. <laughs> 
You'll trade the sword for the bike handlebars. Escort these two survivors back, then combine the handlebars with the bike. And that's it for all the bike parts. Now we just need the last survivors. At 7pm we need to speak with Bob. Head on over to the fishing shop next door and speak with his daughter. <sighs> then speak with Bob again, and then speak with Darcy again. Got these two back for the Still Creek Survivor achievement. Stay right there. That's plum fantastic. Now before you give Katie a Zombrex, make sure you have some decent melee weapons like the sword and also bring some healing items and save beforehand. Giving Katie her Zombrex will start the boss fight. My advice for this fight is to bait him to only do melee attacks. Although I give a pretty poor example here, the best method is to dodge his attacks and then do counter attacks after. Do not let him gain distance as he is insanely accurate and it does a lot of damage. After he is dead you'll get the chop shop achievement.
Finally, we'll need to escape on the bike to get the last achievement for this playthrough. Now for the last two achievements. Load the save that we made in playthrough 1, that was just after we got the zombrex from the ambulance. Now push this car around and knock zombies over. The car is indestructible, however it can get knocked over if you charge into a wall for example. It usually takes two bumps to kill a zombie, so just run around the town killing zombies until you finally get the achievement. This time take the bike part straight back to the garage and then save Dick and open the pawn shop. As soon as it's open, grab a melee weapon and then head to the mini casino. So to get the most money per run, what you're going to have to do is play in the slot machines that have money already on the ground 5 times each. Then smash the machines to get more money and then smash the ATM machines to get even more money. Run into the garage and then back out again to reset the casino. Once you get 100,000, buy Zombrex until you get the achievement. Now this achievement is supposed to spread over multiple playthroughs, but it's known to be buggy, so it's best off just to get it all in one go. And that's how to get every single achievement in Dead Rising 2K0. Next up will be Dead Rising 2, so thanks for watching guys and stay awesome!